Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Team Pitchcrafts, and I hope you're doing okay. Now, this is a combination video. It's kind of a collaboration with JP Woodwork. When I went to see JP recently, he gave me a piece of burr and a carved dolphin that he'd made and said, here you go, this is a project for you. What I want, or what I would like you to do, is to make it look as if it's coral underneath the water and the dolphin jumping out of the top. I said, yeah, okay, no problem. <laughs> so, this is a small project that I'm gonna be giving back to JP at the end. <laughs> Let's see how I get on with it. So I have the dolphin that's been carved out of wood and the bird which has been uh, rounded or circled or whatever you want to call it really nicely sanded as well and it's a gorgeous piece of burr so what I thought I'd do was cover it in black paint and then put some UV resin on top so I'm just going to cover it with my UV resin of choice this is a resin I use pretty pretty much all the time it cures beautifully quite quickly and is super hard so I thought I'd cover it with that and I'm just using a disposable paintbrush, which I actually do clean out and use again. They're not disposable if you use them again, are they? <laughs> and I'm going to give it a quick flash cure with my small torch just to make it sticky. I don't want to cure it completely. I want it to stay sticky so that in the next phase, everything will stick to it. So these are Let's Resin Chameleon powders and they are powders, not flakes. They, are, they can mix in with resin. You can also put them on top of UV sticky resin. You can also sprinkle them like glitter and you can also dust molds with them as well. So these are very, very versatile indeed and I love this colour. This is cyan. So I decided just to sprinkle it on and then push it around with a paintbrush to get it in all the little nooks and crannies. Now I do have another colour which is blue and I want to use the two together. I also use a red colour but to be honest with you the red didn't look right so I did change that later on. But the dark blue or the blue powder is absolutely gorgeous. Now by this time I realised that using the paintbrush and popping it into the pot was a lot better than trying to sprinkle it on the top. So that's my method now. <laughs> And these colours are absolutely stunning. With a black underneath, they are just so gorgeous, so bright. And yeah, so I'm covering the whole lot. So this is the fuchsia. Now, like I said, I do cover that up later with the blue because I didn't think it looked right for the coral. I mean, it's a gorgeous colour, but it just didn't look right for undersea scene. Although I wanted it all mottled looking. Hmm. Yeah, I decided that that wasn't the way to go. Now I'm using my gloved hand here just to pick up some of the dust that's on the, the surface just to rub around the edge because I don't actually know how much of this will be seen when JP turns this. So yeah, I wanted it covered. So this is the dolphin that JP has carved and it's very sweet but I knew that if I was putting it in resin I would probably potentially get bubbles. So I had to seal it in some way and I thought, well, you know, UV resin is very, very versatile. And I thought, well, I'll cover it, let it soak into the wood and then I'll cure it. And that should create a barrier between anything that it comes in contact with in the future. That was my plan. And it soaked in really well to the wood. I must admit this UV resin is one of my favourites. Just popping it under the lamp for, again for 10 minutes. I do turn it halfway through though, just to make sure it's cured all the way around. So I've put the burr inside a microwavable tub and I filled it up to just below the top level. I've also put a couple of shells and a couple of starfish in there, which are metal and they're like little charms. And I've stuck the dolphin to the side of the bowl so that he stays exactly where I want him to be because he's not going to go entirely into the resin. He just needs his tail in there. So I'm going to be using Vista Ocean for this. It's a deep pour resin. It cures in 48 hours rather than 24, but it does have a recommended depth of seven and a half centimeters or 75 mil. Now I think I'm going to go over just over that because I need it to go a little bit higher, but we're going to go for it. We're going to hope that it cures okay. So I've put a mark on the side of the tub where I need the resin to go to and I'm just going to pour in up to that line. Now it's only a slight 
amount over the seven and a half centimeters. I think it was eight maybe. But um, yeah, we're going to go for that because I need the resin to be where it is on the tail. So two days later, it comes out of the pressure pot and this is what I find. Now I was aware that I was pushing the boundaries for the depth of the resin. Um, yeah, I wasn't aware for the cracks around the outside, but I am glad that I put it into a tub. Oh, that was wider than the burr itself and the cracks have not gone into the burr as far as I can see at this time. Let's demold it and see how it looks. It came out so easily. I was so pleased. I thought it was going to be a job to get it out, but it came out really easily. Well, that's quite a quick video, but I used JP's word with JP's carved dolphin. Go and check out JP Woodwork if you haven't seen his channel already. He's an amazing uh, turner makes all sorts as well, does some scroll saw work that's absolutely stunning. This is going back to JP. So from JP to me, back to JP, and JP will put this on the lathe and turn it. Now I did overstretch the resin because the resin was only meant to be six centimeters deep, and this is eight. So I knew it would have heat issues. And it's cracked, not cracked, it's kind of bubbled, chipped out. Chipped out without it being on the lathe just around the outside now there's plenty of room if you have a look through that there's plenty of room around the wood to be able to take that down on the lathe and make it into a nice shape you can also tidy out the top although it's rippled on the top and i think that adds to the water effect to be honest with you so this is going back to jp check out his channel i oh, can't wait to see what he does with this <laughs> i'm looking forward to it thanks very much for joining me take care have a nice week i'll see you again next week bye for now